Once again, welcome to our flying field at Lake Forest. It is now nine o'clock in the morning, but unfortunately we have a light rain. Yesterday, I did a, an endurance test on the Mariner, got 32 minutes with some high capacity batteries. I've got the same arrangement today. These are two of the 5,200 milliamp hour Multistar 4S batteries. Uh, when I got the 32 minute duration, I had a lot of emails asking me what the duration would be if we put a GoPro camera or if we put a GoPro camera and gimbals on, such as the one that I have here. This is a three axis gimbal with a GoPro, uh, in this case it's a Hero 3 black camera. This weighs an additional 300 grams. But they didn't ask the right question. Since the Mariner is a waterproof copter, they should have asked what is the flight duration if we include that gimbal system and camera, but now, now in an optical glass dome port, fully waterproof to the bottom of the Mariner. That glass dome port adds another 290 grams, making a total of about 1.3 pounds additional weight. But there's actually more than that. To support the gimbal, I've got some rods that extend down. Now I didn't have any carbon fiber, so I had to use quarter inch steel rods. These add another 160 grams of weight that I don't need or I can eliminate for the most part with carbon fiber rods. So if you add the steel rods, the three axis gimbal, the GoPro camera, the optical glass dome port mount, you're adding an additional approximately two pounds weight. Now I've also put the GPS inside today. So what we're gonna do is give it a try. So here it is, Mariner with full three axis gimbal, waterproof glass dome port. Since the very heavy downpour of rain yesterday required the cancellation of our test uh, with a Mariner, I uh, decided to come out this morning. Uh, you can see how wet the ground was. Uh, in this case, we have the Mariner set up identical to the yesterday with the exception of one thing. What I've done is I have removed the glass dome and the gimbal. I still have the mount on the bottom for it. And I replaced that by a canister then with 580 grams of lead shot. Now this will attach to the bottom and it will duplicate, more than duplicate, the weight of the three axis gimbal, the GoPro camera, the glass dome, and even, even a small 500 milliwatt uh, wireless transmitter FPV unit. So what we'll do is we'll attach this on the GoPro and again look at our duration using the two 5,200 milliamp hour 4S multi-star batteries. So let's see what kind of a duration we get today before the rain. Well we have a flashing green light indicating that our GPS is locked on so I'm going to uh, take off and start my trusty 99 cent uh, very accurate uh, timer to see what kind of duration we get out of the waterproof Mariner fully equipped with the more than equivalent weight for the three axis gimbal FPV system as well as uh, three axis gimbal and GoPro camera glass dome. Okay, let's begin the well, test. Well, I've just started my timer. You can see we're only about 22 seconds into the flight. see now we're at a uh, total of a 10 minute and 5 second flight time. Uh, realistically I have not done any controls 
of either altitude or movement orientation in any direction since it's taken off. And you can see relative to the yellow uh, pads that I have, stability is incredible. Now this, this in part is due to the inherent stable design of the Mariner, but I think more importantly, the fact that I'm using NASA DJI electronics 100%. From the transmitter to the receiver to the NASA light controller, GPS system, this is 100% DJI Sada, with the exception of much larger motors, 40 FC controllers, huge battery capacity, three times that of the Phantom 2, uh, 12 by 3.8 props, 40 amp speed controllers. So it's really a Phantom on steroids, steroids in a big way. Well, I removed both of the multi-star batteries and uh, I put them in my little battery condition meter and you can see there is 7% remaining on this battery and let me plug it, plug it into the other one. Well, the batteries seem to be pretty well balanced because as you see from this, I have 7% in the, uh, the other battery. So an incredible duration on the Mariner, uh, duplicating what we would have then with the gimbal, glass dome, FEV system, etc.